So, you guys remember, well, in the last video I was talking about how I needed a new videographer. What we've decided to do is anybody who wants to submit an application for this, upload your YouTube video submission. So like why you should be my YouTube videographer and we'll even, we might even choose one or more people to uh, come work for fitness culture doing video stuff. But what we need, I need you to upload your best submission video of, of why you should be picked, kind of highlight, you know, showcasing some of what you do. If it's an old video, it could be an old video, but I want it to be something about you, storytelling, something that's, you know, different, sets you apart. Um, upload that with the title being fitness culture video, what was it? Fitness culture video submission. Yeah. Fitness culture video submission. In the first part, and then they can add whatever they want. That has to be in the first part of it, and then you guys could add whatever you want in the end. But I'm just going to type that in, look it up. I'm going to narrow it down to the top three, and then I am going to let YouTube, my YouTube channel, it's going to go up on my YouTube, and people are going to vote on those things. So, again, we want people, you have to be willing to move to St. George. Um, working with me, you're going to have to be willing to, and what I mean by that, move to St. George, like, you know, we're gonna travel a bunch, you're gonna be in St. George, pretty much storytelling the day-to-day -day aspects of things, having fun. Again, getting back to some of those people on YouTube, Benny and Yoon, I, you know, we liked what they did. I've actually been <clears throat> talking a little bit to Benny and that's how I came up with this idea. So Yoon, shout out to you guys still. Um, so yeah, upload your video submission. We will pick, um, in two weeks, we will pick, so you have two weeks to submit your stuff. In two weeks from now, we will pick the top three. Those top three will then be voted on. And like I said, we'll be picking maybe the other two um, or one other person to come be fitness cultures, one of fitness cultures videographer because we're starting a whole production crew here. So get that done, upload it, fitness culture video submission. I'm excited to watch these. I'll watch them all personally. I'm super, super stoked. Anything else, Jason? I was just gonna say, should we put a, like a deadline on it? when they should have it uploaded by? Yeah, two weeks. Two weeks, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. You never listen to me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, okay, ready, go. 95 degrees outside. Jason, did I lock you in, man? No, no, no. I'm sorry, bro. 95 degrees outside, so what are we gonna go do? We're gonna go run with James Kowser and Terrell Adams of the Colts and of the Raiders. So, we did a workout with him yesterday, today, Jake hit legs with him this morning. I unfortunately didn't do that. My back has been giving me problems. So I skipped the leg workout. Uh, now we're gonna go run, run outside following the athlete program. So what we're doing is you guys can follow Fitness Culture YouTube is actually gonna be releasing every single one of these workouts. I'm just kind of showing you guys the highlights. If you wanna get the actual workouts and follow along, you'll be able to do so here probably in the next week or two. Uh, they'll all be on Fitness Culture's YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out, subscribe. It's gonna be a lot more informative videos like getting into the science of stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna lather up some sunscreen and go do some cardio. This morning got done running yesterday and that was all she wrote for me in terms of working out that's all I did yesterday so here this morning 7 a.m. we got some core with the guys um, yo, pushing the body Jake and I were talking about this it's one thing to get in shape because you want to look good for the summer it's another thing to get in shape and push yourself because that's your job when you're in the NFL it's your job to be big strong fast tackle people and the best, the best way to do that is to be in shape, be able to run for days, be strong as hell. So it's like training with these guys is a different purpose. It's not just training to look good at the boat. 
It's training to be functional, be powerful, be explosive. And it, when your paycheck rests on that, like you gotta perform. So um, training with these guys, it's great because it pushes you to another level. You're eating for your paycheck type of a thing. And I started thinking about that. I'm like, Steve, that's really no different than like what I should be doing. I should be doing that because this is what I do. This is, I guess there's the business stuff and it's actually been more business than actually staying in shape, but you can't have one without the other. So we're here, we're showing up. Early morning workout, we got core right now. On the single leg box jumps, um, today what we're doing, it's gonna make a huge difference, oh. is starting just in a static position and going from there. So there's no approach. If you do an approach, it's gonna be a lot easier. You're gonna be able to get a lot higher. But one thing that's good about the, just doing a static approach like that, especially for these guys, is it helps them like the mind muscle connection of just coming from a stop position just going which is huge for like your first step if you're a linebacker for you yeah just coming overcoming that you can just go right on command yeah so that's gonna like i can see you guys your first having you used to that yeah. which helps you program this is the kind of stuff that we didn't have a strength coach in college I would have killed for a strength coach like Jake in college um, so for me being a the bodybuilding the physique all about the aesthetics you don't train this way and you do lose it so for you guys out there in your 20s don't shy away from that training you did as an athlete because what ends up happening is it comes back and bites you because we're always shortening these muscles. We never elongate fully. We never do things like an active warm-up. We never do things like proper stretching, foam rolling, sprints. The worst thing you can do for your body is strength train, never do cardio, never stretch. The worst thing. Probably be better off just, just doing yoga than just strength training with no stretching and no cardio. You're going to have a lot more injuries that way, a lot more imbalances that way. So make sure you're doing this stuff. So how many how many workouts? How many workouts you done? Seven. This is seven. Seven? You've been counting. We yes. counted just barely. How you, how's, how's the body feeling? Actually surprisingly good. Yeah. I mean I'm tired, but I don't ache. Speak for yourself. See how are you feeling? I'm dying. He's lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> Nutrition's been on point? Yeah, yet? that's what it is though, nutrition. I feel good. So if you guys weren't here training with Jake this week, what would you guys be doing? Where would you be training? I'd be training up north. I'd be in Atlanta. Atlanta? You yeah. just got good training there? Yeah, I got a real good training. She actually like is really good with speed, but I don't know much like oh. like weight. So that's like the part I really miss that I really need. So it's hard to find good weight training coaches. <laughs> <laughs> he just shrugs. <laughs> what are you guys about to go do right now? Run. Conditioning and some uh, footwork, it's a, you know, speed and agility. How hot is it outside? 109. Oh, was it 9? 109. 109. We, we might need to go to the lake again. I'm uh -huh. down for that. Uh-uh. No? As long as we get this work in. Oh, he means later. Oh, like later? Not right now. Yeah, not right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think I failed twice, so yeah. yeah all, like, all I know is we gotta, we gotta get you up letting go of the rope. I'm getting busy. I don't think I can let go of that rope. I got up. I was happy getting up. I don't see how I keep up with not the rope. I don't understand yeah. it. Like it's not hitting my mind correctly. Like how oh, you could just like just yeah, how they keep up with the rope. It just pushes you along. Uh, Your first right. one was the best one. Hey, first set, best set. First set, best set. It's our motto around here. <laughs> first it's set, last best. set, best set, punks. I really wish I would have had Jake as a call strength coach because. I, I literally just went in and trained body, bodybuilding for like four years in college and then trained bodybuilding for like seven years. And now doing this athletic movement stuff is like waking up body parts and like waking up movements I haven't done in, since, you know, well, now that I train with Jake, we do a little bit more of it. But I'll always be bodybuilding at heart, but I need, definitely need to incorporate a lot more of this stuff because y'all like are some athletes. Not only is Jake the host in the weight room, when he has to run, he gets it going. <laughs> yeah, most people don't think Jake can probably run. He gets it going. 
And you can do a back, right now. And you can do a backflip on the wakeboard. What can't you do, what man? Can't you do? It's plenty of you, he wears a me versus me shirt because there ain't nobody on this planet that he can compete that can compete with them. He's like, oh shit, this is me, this is me versus His me. His haircut's on point. There are seven billion humans on the face of the earth, and then and Jake is not one. And then there's Jake. <laughs> All right, been training, been training the last two days. I did legs with Jake. How's, how's your legs? They're tired. So what we're doing now is we're doing a little a little wake surfing. TA's about to show it to how it's done right here. Show you how it's done on live camera. Atlanta in the house! TA you know, <laughs> from GA. Hey, this is this is good times though. Out of the lake, hanging out. Kowser, how many sacks you finna get this year? At least three. <laughs> you heard it. You heard it here first. No, for a linebacker, that's real good. How many tackles you have last year? Woo! Ready? ready? All right, TA is ready. Okay, hold up. He's about to put his other leg on. All right, good. All right, he good. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and he's out. That was pretty solid, though. It's our first time wake surfing. Had a show. Had to have a little fun. A little fun here.